Good afternoon. We are here live again on this fine spring Tuesday. And we thought we would just play with a lot of different things. We are going to be using some molds, some stamps, some transfers. I think the only thing we're not using is an inlay. So we've been going crazy on the inlays lately and we thought we would veer over and just have some fun with our other categories. Okay, so here's our pieces. Okay, so we have another piece to this. You'll see that in a minute. Should I start off with a funny story? We are all set up, everything is ready to go. I should tell it. She was walking around and she attempted to walk across that pile of cardboard. And have you ever seen in the cartoons where somebody's legs are spinning? Well, that happened right there on the cardboard with Sally. She I fell hard. So hard. She's said, okay. I'm obviously. Okay. But I fell so hard. And then Josie came over and she said, it was like, yeah, but yeah, but you. And I got that visual of myself in my oh, head. The of Flintstones. Of trying to get and I laughed so hard that then I wet my pants. That's the part I wasn't sure I was gonna share. Not just a dribble. Not just a dribble. So she's all fresh and clean now, no worries. Yep, all fresh skis. But yeah. Ready to play? <laughs> yes. So here is our gallery wall. One of the things I thought would be fun to do was a stamp impressed. That's one of our favorite techniques to use the stamps for because you can't do it with anything else. The theme is going to be wine. I don't drink alcohol. You can apply this a gallery wall with any of our designs, not just the wine. It'll translate to all. So stick with us and yeah. remember you can apply all these techniques with other products 100%. So get all your stuff out, get some of our wood blanks out, arrange them how you want get all your supplies and then just start to play and yeah. see what kind of thing you come up with. Sure. So that's what we're gonna do. I do have a little bit of plan, don't worry. It's not that crazy. Oh yeah, this one's white. So, so can, we're gonna I, do this. Oops. can I start gluing this one so that sure. then I can- okay. Yeah, so you can play with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in this fact- This if... we had already cast this mm -hmm. from the frames to molds. Yeah. Table. You're doing gray on this one? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, oh, I'm it's not sure what a, it is. Like, yeah color. So you do that. I'm going to get in here and I'm going to go away. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sit. Okay. okay. Oops, so this is me. hard dry. Typically, I would not let it dry in a plate, but it, right. it, you can do it that way. Too. Yeah, and we, we already have this. Let's show them the mold. I did. Oh, you did already show them this mm -hmm. though? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, so stamped and pressed. We have shown this technique a lot of times, so I am gonna be moving quickly, but if you wanna see an in-depth tutorial on it, just check out our YouTube channel. I'm gonna just squirt some chalk type paint here, and I'm gonna use about, whoa, that was way too much. <laughs> here, put it on this scrap, the excess. Let me, whatever there is, you can scoop onto there. Okay. And then, then it can be good. scooped into the bottle, back into this. I'm using our um, going blank. What's this called, Jos? Um, oh, our. Um... Now you made me go blank. <laughs> <laughs> our blank. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just laying this okay, like blank. almost. Okay, laying it almost flat. Um, One of our people parallel. Will. To the board and just barely kind of gently gently not pressing too hard to kind of create a nice uh, troweled surface and then you let it um, set up for a little bit and how much you let it set up is going to affect how the impression takes how fine the impression is how rough it is and you'll get a feel for that um, just kind of play with it and, and test it out. You definitely want to set it up. The drier it is, I want to say the more fine the impression is, but if it gets too dry, then you don't get much impression at all. So it's really kind of a balance and learning that balance just takes practice. So I'm just going to kind of show you that. Let me set this aside and work on something else so that I can show you how to stamp it. Well, there oh. will be some... <laughs> Dude. That's okay. That's not too much. It's, yeah, not, a problem. it's, not, it's a not, not a problem. It's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that'll work. 
Um, so here's the kind of cool thing about, I had pre-cast this one and usually I cast wet. And you, you know, you get some shrinkage and some cracking and I go with it, I like it. And I glue it down while it's wet. But in this case, we had one already cast. So it's like, let's just use that one and not waste it. But there's a slight, it does, it's not perfectly flat to the surface. Here, let me move this a little bit. This I love particular... our micro rim. That's why I was thinking micro blade. Yeah. Our micro rim makes it so nice. I'm gonna scoop some of this because right? it makes it, it so you can get, get that, that clean, clean edge. edge. Yeah, and I am being mindful of the back since I'm gonna be gluing this down. Just getting the excess paint so it doesn't fill in too much the nice little details we like. Mm-hmm. Oh, pretty, 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 pretty. Okay. Now I'm just scooping in a little, let me get in there, a little bit of the paint to get it to go in because there's a tiny bit of gap. Um, and this is going to soften and conform more to the surface a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think from the moisture that it'll be absorbing from the paint and the glue. But see, I'm just like getting some paint down in there. Very cool. Let me see what I'm doing here. Mm. Yeah, you can see. We're both just kind of working away, making our happy little trees. Yeah. Okay. Show this little unmolding. Beautiful. Love the grapes mold. It's such a wonderful one to use and complement with our cheers set to create like a beautiful themed gallery wall, but like Josie said, there's a lot of different molds if wine's not your thing. True, but still grapes can still be your thing. They That's like represent true. harvest and fruitfulness and abundance. That is true. And there's true. a lot of neat spiritual significance to grapes and vines and mm -hmm. wine. And... I'm gonna put a little bit of a cluster. Like that. That's so pretty. It is. Are you, you covering do? up the stamped part? No, but some of it bled onto it, but I don't mind. We'll How's that look? What do you guys think? Ooh, I like it. But you're going to cut the extra off, right? Leave well, off. I'm going to actually it. just tuck it to fit. Okay. Yeah, no, I love that. I think I'm going to paint Pretty, huh? a little portrait of okay. a person in there. I love it. I'm just really kind of loving this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to glue it down. Let me see how this is looking. All right, that is looking pretty good. It's starting to dry around the edges, but we still have, it's pretty thick. I might have gone a little too thick. We're gonna see when we stamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Do you wanna glue this down? Sure. While I'm doing this? Sure. I wanted to show you the full stamp, but I have it cut up to use. But this is, you get um, three clusters and four leaves and several vines. So you can make a lot of different configurations with that. See, I've already used them. Let me go grab the smaller one. <laughs> okay, move those cardboards out of your way. It's such an OSHA problem. <laughs> Josie fell while we were doing a demo at CHA. She was wearing a pencil skirt and it was <laughs> around her knees too tight and she went down. Slowly though, it was like in slow motion. That's what made it so funny. And I also have it on film, so there's that. Nobody has this on film. In fact, maybe it didn't happen. You are so fortunate that I do not have it on film. Because this is stamped and pressed, you can't mask like you normally would mask but for it's stamping. Okay. So if you're layering leaves and florals or, you know, whatever you want to mask, you have to approach it differently. So what I did, and I'll show you this, is I actually just kind of squinchled it. I squinchled it. That's Josie's term for it. And it's as good as any, so we'll go with it. We squinchled it. So I feel like it's very descriptive and it kind of helps them know what we're talking about. It does, for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna go down into, this is just, uh, chalk type paint so it's nice and thick and I applied it with our uh, 
tape blade so that I could keep it thick and it also created a nice smooth canvas for the stamp impressed. So I'm just going in lightly. I'm not pressing down too hard. Just a nice light gentle all over making sure the impression is there and then lift. Do a little there okay. and then and then a little over here. I'm just gonna go right over it, honestly. And I'll show you what she means by squinchle it on, on the one that I did. Cause that one I had to squinch it. <laughs> so I went right over it and honestly, it's just fine. Um, yeah, it's different than when you're stamping with an it's ink. I'm gonna have this go right off the edge. So I'm gonna trim it like that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry. <laughs> Bonus text. <laughs> Bonus texture. <laughs> she totally messed up my grapes. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll squinchle. So I'm lifting this up so it doesn't go into my other grapes. All that the squinchle is, is just that. Just, yeah. the, just manipulating it to put it where you want it, but hold it up off the surface where you don't want it. Yeah. Like that. It's a very technical term. <laughs> so. so there you go. You can kind of see there we go you can kind of see in the light that it is just an impression and it really comes out when you apply a glaze or a wax um, it really pops that design and it's just a beautiful way to add a design texture and we've done it on large pieces of furniture um, the piece of furniture I have a console in, in my your room, bedroom in my bedroom where I did a floral stamp all across the top I think I use floral twelve. gorgeous it is so so beautiful um, so I encourage you guys to give this a try just a nice thick coat of chalk paint let it set up for a little bit and stamp and press and then pop that detail in the glaze and so Josie's grabbing the one I've already done yeah and we're gonna clear wax this and dark wax it is what I decided to do and to pop that detail. Yeah, so and you'll see. also get some kind of tiny, tiny crackling yeah. because the thickness of the paint. Typically yeah. you're not going on it as thick. So you can but see here case. how I had a full leaf right here and a full leaf right here. And I just put some grapes around it. So I had to kind of carefully arrange and carefully kind of set that in and it, it worked fine. Okay, so now I'm going on with a nice clear wax and this just makes it so that it won't take the dark wax too heavy. Um, it helps the dark wax distribute nice and evenly across. What did you have in mind color-wise? Should I paint this? Yeah, whatever you want. All right. I was gonna wet distress the edges to pop some of that pink out, but I'll let you decide that. Oh! <laughs> Here, where's that thing? Oh my goodness, you guys. Those fly clothes can be tricky sometimes. I know, they don't, it's true. they don't like let out a little at a time sometimes. They're no. like all squirt and they're like, that's not what I had in mind. <laughs> Just please remember she hit her head today. <laughs> I did. I did. I have an excuse. I was just reading or no, listening to a sound clip from um, just a coach. I don't remember who it was, but they were talking about how we expect like we want it to be perfect or we won't try. Right. which is ridiculous because nobody's going to be perfect coming out of the gate you have right. to learn you do have the to reps. get better exactly. do the reps keep repeating keep trying keep risking um, keep taking the adventures like that's yes. how you develop and find your groove and appreciate the steps along the way not as like oh when i get to this place of mastery then i can appreciate my work no right. appreciate every single step along the way and yeah. what it has to teach you and offer you it's a blessing that creative journey mm -hmm. probably way over waxing this because i'm treating it more like a glaze and it's a wax so it's super um, really pretty but it's it is i really like it okay so i'm gonna use a soft cloth that off and then that is done isn't that pretty guys and when it dries, you'll get some shrinkage, which you can then go back and touch up. Yabba dabba do. 
Oh, that's right. We're going to put a transfer down as well. So let me finish this. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a transfer from our Cheers transfer set. We already have it out of the, the packaging and I'm going to just show you guys what we've got. That would be a pretty one against mm. the white mm -hmm. and some You're nice typography. And then we've got I'm some grapes. So we have a lot of grapes going on in this set. I'm so I'm going to stick like that. Do something neutral. Right? It fits enough. Look at it. It's just a smidge okay, and off. Okay, yeah. That'll but work. if you wanted to move these closer, you could too. So, oh, yeah. And then you have plenty. That is true. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Okay. The, ooh, I'm, I'm just gonna looking. Leave it. I'm just looking oh. because that does look pretty with all the white space around it. It does really it. does. With the white space around it, yes, it's just kind of beautiful, isn't it? I'm about it. I'm gonna need to stand right over the top of this in order to center it well. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Somebody once commented on one of our lives. They said, "Why do you keep pushing your sister out of the frame?" I didn't know what they were talking about, but now. I'm more sensitive to it. Okay. That looks better. Okay. There we go. Oops, I'm sorry. I do love the transfers for the simple fact that they are once and done and so easy to apply. And no mess. I know, I know. I know, you know. I already knew that. <laughs> Why is that so funny? I don't know. Like we're little, like we're little kids. <laughs> Especially with our messy buds. Okay. Like that that is gorgeous. I really love that. Oh, it looks so classy. Yes. I mean, you could add some, some soft texture with our liqueurier in a tone on tone if you wanted to fill some of that white space but I do like it just as is. And we do have the liqueur already over here. True, true. So, but yeah. look how pretty too it looks a yeah. little distressed on the edge yeah, because true. it- Do you want it me to do that it? color? Yeah. Okay, let me get the sanding block. We're gonna distress the edge just a little bit because I noticed if you guys look closely right there with that coming through, it the really, yeah, through. the soft wood. It's very really pretty. pretty. Just a just just a hint like that. Just a smidge. Should I distress this a tiny bit? Just a little. See what happens. Just a smidge. See what happens. It's all about trying things. It's Good. really pretty. Yeah, I just I like remove that. some of the transfer really color to yeah the piece mm -hmm. See? that is gorgeous it's so funny how you get happy accidents like that well okay, we have guys. three pieces oh, no, no, here there's oh. A fourth one. oh there's a fourth oh that's right yeah, there this piece and i, I love the way that it complements this over yeah. here so isn't that pretty that was fun you guys okay. I wasn't sure we were gonna get to finish this whole set, and I guess it's not completely finished because Josie's gonna paint something in there. Yeah. Do a little vineyard. Oh yeah, Do that's a, a great a idea. Of a vineyard. In yeah, that little that's spot. a great idea. A tiny painting of a vineyard. Yes. Then Sally, you can um, stage it, and we'll get some pretty pictures Absolutely. of you guys. Okay, you guys, enjoy the rest of your week and the rest of your afternoon. And please, please, please share with us everything you make. Yes. And subscribe and like on on YouTube. Yes. And follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. And follow us on Facebook. And join the tribe, the Creative Tribe. Yes. So the Creative Tribe is a group of creators like you just getting together, supporting each other, sharing yeah. ideas. Mm -hmm. And then our page is different. That'll be where we post, you know, we have news IOD TV and, and yeah. news and things like that. So yeah. get with us on all the platforms. Yes, because there is something a little bit different on each one yes. and you don't want to miss anything. Yes. And sign up for our newsletter while you're at it. Yes. Okay, you guys. We have love you. Awesome we love you. Bye. Bye.